Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Stay in touch with all future college visits by checking out the Counseling Center in person or visiting their websites. We will have second semester visits when we return in 2019. Seniors! Class t-shirts are now on sale for $15. Because there are limited numbers available, you will want to get one now before they are gone so you can wear your shirt to the class photo in January. Stop by the table in the front lobby at lunch to get your shirt today. Seniors! Herf Jones will be here tomorrow at lunch in the lower commons. This will be the second round for you to order class rings, caps and gowns, and announcements if you want them before the graduation. The deadline for orders is December 21st. Glads, if you ever wondered what it's like to be a teacher or are convinced that this is the profession for you, apply for the Teacher Cadet Program at WHS. The program is open to sophomores and juniors with a B or higher average. Applications are available in the Counseling Center or from Miss Ship in room 202. And now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports update with Ethan Simon. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is our last Gladiator Sports Update of the semester. Our boys basketball team traveled to Fountain Fort Carson last night, but couldn't drain those baskets and lost to the Trojans. Keep your heads up, fellas. There are more games to play. The men's team is on our home court next week on Tuesday, December 18th, against Pueblo West at 6 p.m. Then on Thursday, the boys travel to Canyon City for a game at 7 p.m. Our Lady Glads were at home last night against Fountain Fort Carson, but those baskets were cursed and they took the loss. The ladies are on the road tomorrow at 3.30 against the Lewis Palmer Rangers at Lewis Palmer. On Friday and Saturday, the ladies are at a tournament at Pueblo County. Next week, our ladies are at home on Thursday night against the Canyon City Tigers at 7 p.m. Come blow off some final steam and, and cheer on our Gladiator basketball teams. The forensics team has a competition in our halls on December 15th for a home meet called Big Questions. Best of luck to our competitors. Our Lady Grizzlyators race against Fountain Valley this afternoon afternoon at 4 p.m. The ladies will be in their home waters tomorrow against Pueblo Central at 5 p.m. The ladies will also be home next Thursday at 4 p.m. against the St. Mary's Pirates. We are excited to share the news that Asia Mathers placed first at the Brush Invitational over the weekend. Congratulations, Asia. Go out tonight to watch the Gladiator Grapplers at Lewis Palmer at 6 p.m. for a dual meet. The team will be hosting their first home meet on Thursday, December 13th against the Mitchell Marauders at 6 p.m and would love to see a robust cheer section there. The last meet of the semester is next week on December 19th at Vista Ridge at 6 p.m. And now here's this week's Damon's Dose of Health on stress during finals week. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today we're gonna be talking about stress. So, Amongst the age of 13 to 17 year olds, the number one stress that's listed is school. So I wanted to give you guys some tips to better deal with the stresses of your daily lives. Number one is take time for self-care. Whatever that is in your own life that you find the most meaning out of, make sure that you're setting aside time to be able to do those things. Number two, you gotta change your thoughts towards the activities that you have to do. Unfortunately, you guys are in school and you've made that decision. So you have to be able to deal with the stresses that come with that. So change your thoughts. Try not to see everything as so negative. Number three, just remember that everything is one step at a time, whether that's with homework assignments, whether that's with the chores that you have to do at your house. Pick one task, begin working on it, and do your very best at it. And number four is lowering your productivity goals. And that means setting realistic goals for the amount of time that you have. If you have three hours, plan on working for an hour, taking an hour break, and then getting back to work for that final hour, rather than trying to think that you're gonna work for three hours straight. Also, with it being finals week, I wanted to give you guys some test tips. First test tip is to make sure that you're exercising, whether that's going on a brisk walk, going on a run, lifting some weights, make sure that you're sweating off some of your stress. Number two is making sure that you're eating healthy meals with all kinds of healthy fat, okay? Whether that's avocado, olive oil, nuts, make sure that you're getting the healthy kind of food. Number three, as you're preparing for your finals, as you're sitting in class and the tests are getting handed out, spend some time doing some breathing exercises. That'll get you nice and relaxed. And number four is finally to write out the info. And that might sound a little common sense, but what you need to do during your studying is make sure you're writing down the information that you need to know. You're also learning it in multiple facets then by writing it down 
and looking over it. All right, guys, that's Damon's Dose of Health, and I'd also like to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Take care, and we'll see you next semester. Thanks, Mr. Damon. We hope everybody was listening to those great pointers. Ladies, if you are interested in playing soccer during the spring, but you missed the meeting yesterday, please see Coach Sardania in room 130 for details and information. In music news, congratulations to Miles Mena, who performed with the All City Jazz Band on Saturday. Miles auditioned for this group and was one of two students chosen for his instrument. And get this, he also snagged the lead alto sax spot. At Saturday's performance, Miles was a featured soloist, and it's no surprise that he performed beautifully. If you'd like to hear Miles and the rest of the jazz band play, check out the Winterfest concerts in the auditorium this week. Winterfest 2 is tonight, and Winterfest 3, where Miles will be playing, is on Friday. The shows are at 7 p.m., and tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. They will have multiple day passes available if you are coming to more than one of the concerts. This music is sure to put you in the holiday spirit. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week and best of luck to everyone on your finals next week. Now back to the news desk with Moose and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads. We are in the home stretch for our food basket donations and fundraising for the toy drive. Remember, these drives are critical to our community because they directly impact our own students and families, not random outsiders. So, if you are able to donate or participate, please do. Here's the information for the fundraiser. The Power Club is having a hat day today. If you have not purchased your wristband and you have a hat, please make your way to the main office after the news to buy them. All proceeds go to the toy drive. If hats aren't your thing, but PJs are, get your money ready for Pajama Day this Friday, December 14th. The Power Club is sponsoring this fundraiser and they will have $1 wristbands for sale later this week. The 180 Club is collecting enough food to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 of our own Gladiator families. Of course, they will take whatever you'd like to bring, but they could really use some peanut butter and jelly, box stuffing, gravy in packets or jars, cream of mushroom soup, five pound bags of potatoes or large boxes, box desserts, and tuna fish to round out the boxes they have started. Remember, these meals and baskets go to our students and their families. Bring any food or cash donations to Mr. Sigmiller in room five or any other math teacher. The 180 Club is already hard at work putting together these baskets and they they absolutely appreciate all our help with this very important collection. The WSD3 Toy Drive continues until December 20th. Bring your new unwrapped toys for children of, of any ages to the tree in the front lobby. And remember, teenagers need some love too. For teens, you can bring in gift cards to places like Target, Walmart, or Amazon. But you can also donate small electronic items like headphones, pop sockets, or phone chargers. Board games and DVDs would be great as well for teens. Some other gift ideas include makeup, nail polish, hats, or socks. For those of you donating gift cards, please leave those with Mrs. Price or Mr. Shube in the main office. All gifts will be distributed on December 20th. And now, here's our lunch crew with our lunch menu. Hello. Happy Wednesday! Yay. Hey, this is going to be our last telecast for the year. For the year? For the year! We won't see you until next year. We won't see you, yeah, that's right, next year. 2019. Wow. Hey, so what's for lunch today? Cow. What kind of cow? Uh, beef and broccoli. Beef and broccoli. Beef and broccoli. I love mm, it. Broccoli. Mm. And on Thursday? Pig. Oink oink? Yes. Okay, what's it gonna be like? A sandwich. Sandwich? Some kind of sandwich. Barbecue rib. Barbecue rib. Sandwich. Sandwich. And that sauce is the boss. Yeah, sauce is the boss. Sauce is the boss. And then on Friday? More cow. More cow. What kind of cow? Where are we going? Oh, beefy soft tacos! Beefy soft tacos. Mm. Oh, yummy, yummy. Hey, listen, we wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy a Happy New Year. New Year and all those fun holidays. Enjoy your break and see you bye. next year. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, if you want a refund of any excess lunch money or you need to pay outstanding lunch charges, check in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. 
You can also go online to add money to your account. NHS continues their Thursday tutoring sessions until the end of the semester. Remember to stop by the library tomorrow to set up your appointment and pick up your pass. Hey freshmen, Link Crew leaders are ready to help you study for final exams. Join them at Coco and Cram on December 18th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. in the Science Hall. Bring your notes and study guides and enjoy some hot cocoa and cookies as you pave your way to success for finals. The school store is having a blowout sale right now. All items must go to make room for new inventory. Store hours are Monday and Friday at lunch and on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays before school. The sophomore class is selling holiday candy grams this week for $1 and they will deliver them on Tuesday during advisory. Order your candy gram today. And finally, we have some very dedicated students here at WHS who are passionate about their science learning. Check out these endangered species projects from students in Mrs. Carmody's Advanced Placement Environmental Science class. Well done, class. Well done. And one last time, final exams start next Wednesday. Here's the schedule. That's our last broadcast for the semester, Glads. We hope you've enjoyed our work. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and it has been a pleasure bringing you your KWHS news. Have a great rest of the week, and good luck on your finals.